last video, we did all the suspension things with this thing to really get it how riding how we want it to. So now it's time for the finishing details. We have this electric start Tillotson E from Go Power Sports that we're going to do a, a kind of mild build on. We're going to put a cam in it and a new rod. Um, Tillotsons are pretty powerful out the box, so really if we just have a cam, we'll be good there. Uh, so we're going to do things like that. We're going to mount up our handlebars. We're going to make a rear brake. All of those things. So let's just get started by building this engine. So let's break into our Tillotson 212 here. Nothing quite beats unwrapping a new crate engine. Especially when there's a Tillotson 212 in there. Wow. Sweet. What a view. That is pretty, guys. All powder coated up. Man. So we just pull, pulled our 212E out of the box, and it's really amazing. Um, Definitely way better than a Harbor Freight motor. Um, it just bang for your buck and how good it looks out of the box is something else. So here's what we're gonna do to make it kind of kick a little bit harder. We have a hot 265 cam and then a supporting mod to make sure we don't blow up our engine. We have an ARC billet rod as usual. We're running a Makuni carb with an air filter and then a top plate and RLV muffler. So pretty straightforward build. The fact that we're taking this thing out of the box and it's never been run, um, it's really going to help us because we're not going to have to worry about draining fluid or anything. So let's just start taking off our gas tank, air filter, and exhaust. Puts up the three. Ah! This card. Now we got to yank these out. So we just installed our ARC billet rod. Pretty simple. Um, now I gotta find the right sockets and get our torque wrench and torque this sucker down. Billet rod is torqued, 265 cam is in. Now we're gonna put on our side cover again. And hopefully we're closing this up for the last time in a while. We just finished up the engine. We got the top plate on here, header pipe, Makuni carb, all of that stuff. Um, we just gotta fill it up with some oil. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna mock up our torque converter and then see if our engine plate's in the right location and if it all checks out, we're gonna weld it in. Engine plate is just tacked in, but I wanna do our first test run on the frame itself. Um, but the problem is, before I can weld an engine plate, I need to make sure the torque converter is gonna be able to line up with our rear sprocket. So the problem is, based on how this engine's set up with the frame and things, that this standard Go Power Source torque converter is going to be a little too big. So I'm just going to kind of cut off some of this extra place, extra metal. It's not for any support, it's just there for looks and for mounting the side cover. But once it's gone, then we should be able to fit the torque converter um, in perfectly. Okay, it's been a little bit since we filmed this thing. Kind of been busy accumulating a bunch of junk to get that running. But, um, so what we're on to now is basically we need to weld up everything in the back and front here. Um, and then the one little frame modification we have left is if you can see right there how the frame kind of is in the way of where the chain needs to go. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of cut this section out and move it further back here. So it's kind of like, it'll be a little ugly, but it'll be underneath the torque converter. You won't really see it. Um, and that's just there, so the chain isn't gonna be hitting. Um, and then once that's out of the way, we're gonna be free of interference. All right, so I'm taking a look at this chain here, and I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. 
Um, you can see all I did was just kind of inverted where well, you can hardly see it now because it goes into the torque converter. But basically, now the bottom chain will not hit whatsoever. So that's exactly what we want. So now we're going to take this thing apart, weld everything up, and then get it back together and get it ready to run. So I got a little ahead of myself and I forgot we still hadn't fabbed up a brake mount yet. Um, so that's what this is. I'm kind of proud of it actually. It took about an hour to make because I don't have any specialty tools, but it turned out good. I mean, for what I got. Um, so it kind of fits just right up in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress the brake on the spot that I think it fits well and then weld it up. welded up everything the rear is completely assembled up and now I'm just putting the front end. Um, what we did is you can adjust the rate of these springs by turning this little uh, silver part. So we turned it to full stiffness because this thing would have bottomed out before. So we're going to try that out. Keep it dude. Yeah. So we got all the suspension stuff back on bolted up and as you can see we're not going to have any problems bottoming out. It's a lot stiffer now, but it's still got a ton of flex. So now we're gonna put the engine on here, hook some more stuff up so we can hear it run. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting on our Go Power Sports Gold pre-stretched racing chain. This stuff is amazing. Um, we're not gonna try to drive it in this vid, but I kinda just wanted it there so we can see how this thing's gonna look. But we got the gas tank and the engine in, so now what we're gonna do, once I get this chain on, is just try to fire it up. Try it. Yeah, I think it just needs to get running. Right, yeah, man. I mean, it is built. Nice job the engine built, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Looks like an RC car. Doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So a ton of stuff went down in this video and just sitting on this thing right now, I'm so excited to rip it. Um, this is really unlike anything we've ever built. Um, but I really do think there could be quite the following with kind of converting these little kids ATVs into monsters because they're just so cool. It reminds me of a little RC car, especially with our built electric start Tillotson on there from Go Power Sports, along with all the parts from Go Power Sports. So be sure to check them out. We're going to have links in the descriptions. We couldn't do any of the stuff we do without them. So thank you, Go Power Sports. Um, so in the next video, we are going to be ripping this thing. Um, 
this thing does need some help cosmetically so count on us adding some awesome bars and side steps we really want to make this thing look like a stunt atv so stay tuned for that thanks for watching see you next time